occupational therapy is hard. It's a really hard job to get into, and yours to do. Today we're going to be interviewing the girl to find out what she does as an occupational therapist in the schools. So an occupational therapist in the schools works on things with students like fine motor, and that's how you use your hands. It's how you, bilateral hand skills, how you use your two hands together. Visual motor skills, which is how you use your eyes and your hands together. Visual perceptual skills, that's how your brain takes apart information that it sees visually. And then we help to incorporate that into the academic setting for kids. And in occupational therapy, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes to help out your client. That's why Lee Girl is such a good occupational therapist and one of the best in the business in school. So an occupational therapist in the schools actually treats everything from early childhood. It's called early childhood special education. That's ages three, four, and five. Springfield Public Schools has that as a program. And then we also treat everything from kindergarten through 12th grade. But a student who receives special education services in a district program actually is able to receive services until they're age 21 years old, if the parent were to choose. To become an occupational therapist, you have to work your way through multiple years of college and then find your way into the school system. It is not an easy job to do. OT, occupational therapy in the schools, is very different than other settings. So occupational therapy in the school setting, what we do is we relate to a student's IEP, meaning that we are a related service and we help the special education teachers and staff help those students get uh, progress and success on the goals that help them be more successful in the academic setting. In another setting like nursing home or rehab or specific hand therapy or uh, home health, the situation is going to be a lot more tailored to the specific person.